It's Sunday, August 22nd here at the West End Gun Club. It's right around 5, yeah, just before 5.30 in the morning. It's still dark here. Came out here early because I'm setting up for our match today. Today is the NRL 22, August 2021 course of fire. I woke up early. I wanted to get out here early just so I can get set up um, and relax a little bit before people arrive. Um, plus, I didn't want to go back to sleep, even though I, I woke up really early. I didn't want to go back to sleep because then I'd oversleep and then get here later than I wanted to. I wanted to be here, so that's why I'm out here earlier. Um, so summer is starting to wind down, so it's definitely still dark here when you get here before 6. Um, but uh, today should be good weather. I think uh, Southern California, we're in a cooling trend right now before we hit another heat wave next week, but it should be a good day today. Uh, I think in the low 80s, which is great for August here in, in SoCal. Anyway, well, let's go ahead and uh, start unloading the container and get all the uh, targets out there. I only brought a small shop light with me today um, because I didn't anticipate the uh, it would be too dark for too long. So I think the sun will start to creep out around 610 or so. Anyway, let's get moving. <music> It's 6.30, I'm done setting up. Uh, so I'm done really early uh, compared to when people start arriving. Um, but it's nice to be able to kick back and relax a little bit and uh, wind down after hauling all the targets out there. Because um, we have 10 targets plus two KYLs and then uh, two, uh, I set up two boards for zeroing targets. <clears throat> um, it's cool this morning, as I mentioned earlier. It's humid though, which is good and bad. It, I mean. It's cool this morning, but humidity causes you to sweat more. Uh, even if it is cold, you're sweating, so gotta hydrate still. Um, people usually don't arrive here until around 7:30 or so. Some people get here early. I've seen, you know, some people show up at seven. That's because I think they drive from farther away. Um, but you know, it's whatever their schedule allows. Um, I think we, we, you know, we start a safety brief at eight. But I usually try to check people in before that, of course. Um, but we start sharp at eight. You know, if you're not here and you miss safety brief, you you don't shoot. So, uh, not much else to say right now. I took care of the KYL. Um, I think it should. Prov I set up some uh, bungees to keep the legs from lifting off. If the if the target were to lift off the ground, it, it should keep the legs from falling off the target. So if the if there's excessive spin. The KYL should be fine, so we shouldn't have to fix it during the during the match. And I also use a weighted bar. I got a uh, three quarter inch or one inch, three quarter inch, three quarter inch um, s solid uh, solid bar from a local metal shop. So that should keep it weighted down, as opposed to a hollow uh, electrical conduit, which doesn't give it enough weight and stability. You know, if it's used as the crossbar for the KYL targets, because when they spin, it's too light. That's when it starts. All that velocity of the uh, target spinning around causes the uh, the whole hanger portion to just kind of just swing all over the place and that's what causes it to act all up and the legs come off and et cetera. So uh, hopefully that should be fun this more or today during the match. Uh, yeah, same as usual, shooting the voodoo. Um, I did, if you pay attention to my Instagram, I did get my CZ 455 back. And I, also I mentioned in my last range vlog. So I, I put that all together. Uh, yesterday, actually, and I uh, got the scope mounted on, uh, put my Vortex Razor HD AMG, um, put that on there. That was on my mousing field, but I moved my Collis to the mousing field after I got the uh, zero compromise to put on the Voodoo. So Collis from Voodoo to mousing field, mousing field, the Razor HD AMG came off of it. I tried to sell it. Got no buyers. Um, I put it on um, Sniper's Hide and Calguns, which is usually the two places I'll sell if I sell on the internet. Nobody wanted to buy it. Uh, I set it to a, a fair price, I thought. Um, but uh, I also, since I took the the Viper PSD Gen 2 off of my CZ when I gave it to my gunsmith to have him mill out the chassis for the new trigger, 
Um, I took that off, and so I said, you know what, let me see if the Razer, I'm sorry, if I see if the Viper PST Gen 2 sells, and that sold in like two days after listing, and you know, I sold that for 650, I think, 600, 650. Um, so that sold, and so I'm just gonna keep the Razer HDMG. Um, not sure why that didn't sell. I, I just don't know if it, it's not a very, I know it's, it's, does, it's not as popular as the Razer Gen 2, the uh, four and a half to 27. So maybe that's why nobody wanted to buy it. I mean, it's not that expensive. I think I listed for 18, 17 or 18. I think I listed for 18, but I, I was charging for shipping too, like, you know, 50 bucks for shipping and nobody wanted to buy it. I mean, it was, I mean, it's in excellent condition. It did have the older um, EBR 72, I don't know. Can't remember all the Vortex reticles because they do cycle through them every few years. So this one had the, it had a fine crosshair in the center as opposed to open dot. So maybe that's why nobody wanted it. Anyway, keeping the scope, it's a great scope. Um, my only complaint about razors is the uh, magnification ring is tight. I mean, after you, you don't really notice it. Well, you do notice it, but you don't really think much of it until you start handling other scopes. You're like, wow, why is that scope's magnification ring not as, you know, not as hard to turn as the Vortex? So. That's the one thing I don't like about Vortex, and maybe they really need to fix that, to be honest. You shouldn't have to buy throw levers just to to turn magnification rings on on scopes uh, effectively. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, relax a little bit, and then we'll wait for people to arrive and get them all checked in, and we'll start the match. All right, everyone, it's 8.02. 10 seconds till 8.02. Uh, you are here for the NRL 22 August 2021 close of fire. If not, you're here for the wrong match. Uh, so, uh, safety briefing. Uh, this is just basically a safety brief for the match and the range. Uh, club specific policies. We'll go line item here. West End Gun Club to cold range. All firearms will be cleared and empty. No ammunition in the firearm until inspected by the stage officer. I can touch my parallax. Impact. 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 Parallax. Impact. 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 Relax. Impact. 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 Clean. Sure, that's a good start. Clean. <laughs> Nice. Stand by.
Impact. 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 Is that two or three? That was three. Impact. 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 Plenty of time. Impact. 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 Good job. Damn. First clean steak. Impact. Impact. Oh, well, look at that. Impact. Oh, this is the word. All the time yeah. this waste is waiting for that thing to stop moving. Yeah. Impact. 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 This is the last one. Impact. 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 All out. Just drop two. Good shooting. Shoot today. Impact. No hit? No, you hit the uh, the rod. All right. The rod. Impact. Three, three, and four, right? Yep. And I just dropped my magazine. Mag in. Action open.
Impact. Impact. Yeah. Impact. Impact. Two. Minus one on the gun. Uh, we'll do top five. Uh, fifth place overall, uh, David Lane. He had a 290. Uh, fourth place, Eric Katzenberg uh, with 310. Uh, David was open. Eric is open, 310. Uh, third place, Ethan Carroll on base class, uh, 352. Good shooting there. Thank you. Uh, second place, uh, base class as well, top base class is Bill Magana at 400.31. It's good shooting there. And then I myself did uh, top number one, uh, open 421, 59. Uh, I'll post the results and send them out in email as usual. Uh, and if you sign up for the mailing list, you'll get notified in advance of the next match, of course, and any of the uh, announcements and whatsoever. Uh, just an update from the last month. I mentioned about the larger match. Um, they didn't talk about it in the board meeting, so we got to make sure they do it the next one because I want to know about if we can use that or not. Trying to do January, that's what we're shooting for, to shoot up there on the top range. And then um, I've been still trying to work out a course of fire, um, but we'll be back to 300. Uh, 
so we'll do the standard NRL 22 sports of fire, and then we'll add on five more stages at least. So that should give us some good people, a lot of opportunity to shoot some longer range 22. It's after 1230, uh, just finishing up some admin stuff before I take off. We actually finished the NRL 22 match around 1130. We've been hanging around, just talking with some of the other competitors about shooting and non-shooting related things. Um, not much to say about this match other than the fact that uh, I standing the terrible day shot three out of ten and I timed out horrible horrible I don't want to go into a, a rabbit hole about how bad this gun is to shoot standing in terms of the way it's built it's just not designed for standing a lot I have other guns that are good for three position across the course you know standing sitting kneeling uh, prone standing sitting and prone this gun is just not designed for that and I need to figure out how to shoot this standing. I don't know how much time I want to invest in how to shoot this gun standing, but I do need to practice standing more. But this gun, I just, I got to figure something out if in the event that we have to do more standing stages in the future. Uh, I shot top score today, uh, 420 I think, and change. Uh, second place was uh, was the base class shooter. He shot 400. The base class of shooting shooters are starting to do really well here. Um, the guys who keep coming back, uh, they're they're shooting pretty good so I, I think that base class and open class I've been trying to tell people this it doesn't matter base and open good shooters exist in both classes and so uh, to just to want to stay in base just because it's easier it's not the way not the best approach shoot what you got if it have puts you in the open it is what it is um, but you should learn how to shoot and that's how you'll perform better you should learn how to improve your own scores don't worry about how you place against other people if you're constantly improving your scores, uh, month after month, math, match after match, then you're doing a good job, regardless of what class you're shooting in. So, anyway, um, congrats to the top base shooter. I think it was Bell. Um, he shot top base today. I think he was top base last month as well. So, I'm glad that the base class shooters are performing and are improving. That's the what we're looking for. And eventually, I'm sure Bell will probably get if he gets another gun, he'll just shoot open, and he'll shoot just as well, if not better, and more efficiently. Who knows? Uh, and one other side note I want to bring up today, uh, somebody, I had a Rimex, first time I've seen a Rimex in the wild. Uh, I know lots of people have probably seen Rimexes in the wild, but at this range I never see people uh, with a Rimex, and so it's nice to be able to see a Rimex. Uh, it's a smooth action, it's, he's got a proof barrel on it. Um, I kind of want one, but I kind of want to just get another Voodoo, so uh, we'll see. Um, I'm probably just going to get another Voodoo, I'll we'll get another Voodoo 360, I'm just got my eyes on a 360. Um, but the Rimex seems like a good gun. If you got good barrel for it, why not? I mean, if you want a Rimex, nothing, it shouldn't hold you back. Definitely get one if you want one. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of it. Nothing else to say about the match. Uh, next match in September, have no idea off the top of my head what the, what the calendar date is. But for Sunday of September should be our, will be our NRL 22 match. Course of Fire for September has not been published yet. So look for that to come out uh, probably next week or the week after. And I plan on doing a run through of the NRL 22 September Course of Fire probably on the first week of September. I should be out here again to shoot that. I'll um, just do my match director run through. Uh, anyway, that should be it for today. I got to finish packing up and get my paperwork turned into the main range. And then uh, we'll call it a day. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was entertaining for you. Uh, see you again in the next vlog.